In this video, we discuss the permesso di soggiorno for foreigners moving to Italy on an elective residence visa. We cover the steps for finding the application, filling out the application, documents and fees needed, handing in the application, your questura appointment, and renewal of your permesso. Go to the post office and ask for un kit or Permesso di soggiorno applicazione. You should be able to get this at almost any post office. Please know that you will hand in your completed application to the post office, but there are only special locations that accept them, and we will talk about this a bit later. The kit comes in a large white envelope. Keep the envelope as you will use it to mail in your documents. Inside you will find a general information pamphlet that you really don't need. A folio note pamphlet which gives the instructions for completion on the front page. A tabula allegata pamphlet which has tables and codes that you will use. There are five tables in this pamphlet and we will tell you which ones to refer to when needed. Module 1 of the application, it has several pages. Module 2 of the application, it has several pages. Please note that Module 2 is for foreigners who have come to work in Italy. In this video, we are addressing only foreigners who are moving to Italy and who have come here on an elective residence visa. For people moving to Italy on an elective residence visa, you only need to fill out Module 1. Starting with page 1 of Module 1, use black ink to fill out your application. Write in capital letters. You will see at the top, Al Signore Questore D, to the Commissioner of. This is the province where you live. I live in a small town that is located in the province of Alessandria. You will find the spelling and code for the province where you live in the tabula allegata number one. My code for Alessandria is AL. The next section you need to complete is the Marca de Bolo. This is a stamp that you can get at any tabaki in Italy. As of the date of this video, the Bola stamp amount that you need is 16 euros as it says here on the form. Make sure you get the correct amount of the stamp in case this fee goes up in the future. The Marca de Bolo is literally a stamp that you affix to this box. Next you fill out the sections as shown here in this video. Sometimes you will need to refer to the Tabula Allegata to find the codes that you need to use. If we do not fill out a section in this video, you do not need to fill out that section. As long as you are applying for the Permesso di Soggiorno, with an elective residence visa. The exception to this is the end of the form where you include information for dependents and children. We do not cover those sections, but after you get that far in the form, it should be pretty easy to fill them out if you need to. Remember, use capital letters. Section three, Konome is your last name. Section four, Nome is your first name. Section five, put in your province again. The same two-letter code from the tabula allegata number one. Mine is AL for Alessandria. Section six is the city or town where you live. Section eight, put an X for new issue. Section 14, put an X for permesso di soggiorno. Section 16, this is the code for the type of permesso you are applying for. It is found on tabula allegata number two. The code for the elective residence visa, or residenza elettiva, is 21. Skip to section 22. Remember, if we don't fill it out here, you don't need to fill it out as long as you are here in Italy on an elective residence visa. Section 22. Put 01 because you are completing one module. Section 23. Put an X for module 1. Section 25. This is where you put the total number of pages you are submitting with your application. You will submit copies of your passport and other documents, and you need to count the total pages and enter it here. So leave this box to fill in until the end. Section 28. Enter the date. Remember, the day is first, then the month, then the year. Section 29. Sign the document. Section 31. Enter your Codice Fiscale, Section 32. Enter your marital status, A for single, M for married. 
You can find these codes on the Folio Note, page 1. Section 33. F for female or M for male. The following boxes of this block should match exactly the information as given in your passport. Section 34. Your date of birth. Remember day, then month. Section 35. The country of your birth. This code is found on Tabula Allegata number 3. Mine is USA. Section 36. The code of your citizenship or passport. This code is found on Tabula Allegata number 3. Mine is USA. Section 37. Put X for no unless you are a refugee. Section 38. Your place of birth as noted in your passport. Section 40. Put X for passport. Section 44. Your passport number. Section 45. The expiration date of your passport. Section 46. Put 01 for who issued your passport. You find this on Tabula Allegata number 5. The boxes under Section 47 require information from the long-term visa stamp and visa page in your passport. Section 48, the date of your arrival in Italy. Section 49, the border you entered Italy from. Section 50, your visa number. Section 51, your visa type. This is on your visa. Mine is D. Section 52, put an X for ingreso singolo. Section 54, the type of visa you have. It is written on your visa. Mine is Residenza Elettiva. Section 55. The length of your visa. Most are 365 days. Section 56 and 57. The valid from and to dates on your visa. Section 66. Your province. The same two-letter code you used on page 1 from Tabula Allegata number 1. Section 67. The town or city you live in. Section 68, your address. Section 69, your civil code. It's kind of like a zip code. Section 73, your email. Section 76 is for future communications if they are different from that listed on your application above. To avoid confusion, I wouldn't put anything here. When your permesso is ready, you should go and pick it up in person. If you don't have children or dependents, you are done with the application. The rest of these sections are for permanent resident cards, dependents, and family members. To complete your form, you will need a Marca de Bolo stamp for the amount stated on the first page of the application. You can get this from any tabaki. Four passport size photos, a copy of your passport, all pages, including your visa page and the front and back covers, a copy of your Codice Fiscale, a copy of your Carta di Identità, if you have it. This is one of the documents you should get as soon as you arrive in Italy from your local comune. Make two copies of every page of your application on all of your supporting documents. Keep one copy for your files. This will be very helpful to refer to when you go to renew your permesso di soggiorno. Keep one for your visit to the Questura. More on this later. Put the original application and the copies of your identification documents in the white envelope, but don't seal it. You need to take your envelope to an Italian post office that processes these applications. Many post offices do not process them. Look for an office with a Sportello Amico window. You can find which post offices have a Sportello Amico window on the Poste Italiane website. However, not all Sportello Amico windows accept these applications. We think the best way to find a post office that processes Permesso di Soggiorno applications is to go to a main post office in the nearest biggest city. Remember, whenever you go into a post office, take a number at the door. When your number is called, go to the window and ask if they accept the Permesso applications. If they don't, they should be able to tell you where to find a post office that does. If they can't tell you, try another large post office. Be patient. You may need to try several times to find the right post office. When you go to the post office, take with you 100 euros in cash. This will more than sufficiently cover your fees as follows. 
30 euros for postage as listed on the white envelope. If the amount is different, plan accordingly. 30 euros and 46 cents for the application fee. This fee is not listed anywhere and nobody at the post office can tell you how much this application fee is. In fact, they will ask you what the fee is. As of February 2021, this amount is 30 euros and 46 cents. Trust us. The postal clerk will process your documents by making sure everything is in order. They will take your money and they will seal the envelope and mail the documents to the appropriate questura. The post office will make a future appointment with you to go to the questura. The questura is like a state police in the United States, and it is they who issue the permesso di soggiorno. The postal clerk will give you a receipt, and you need to keep this receipt. Do not lose it. It will list the date, time, and place of your appointment with the questura. This will also be proof that you have applied for your permesso. Go to your questura and take your receipt. Here, they will ask you a few questions and take your fingerprints. Take a copy of your documents just in case. Depending on the office, they may give you a website address where you can check on their status of your permesso card when it is ready. Or they may just tell you an approximate date of when it will be ready. It may take several months before your card is ready. It may take several trips back to the Questura to check on it. Within one year, you need to renew your permesso. This renewal will be good for two years, then you will need to renew it again. Then after five years of continuous renewal, you can apply for permanent residency.